A new measure that could make it a felony to threaten health care workers is getting a bipartisan go ahead. The bill also has the support of roughly 30 health care organizations across the state. Our Tahalil Mohadeen spoke to one of those local organizations and shares why they say it's needed. Had IV polls swung at me. Healthcare workers across the state say the violence and aggression they experience regularly needs to stop. We've had to post signs because it's it's becoming much more routine that people are verbally or physically assaulting healthcare workers. It's a problem Wisconsin state leaders are hoping to address with a new bill. One SSM president, Kyle Nondorf, says he supports. And really, we want to make sure that they have an understanding when they come in to receive health care services that respect is shown to health care professionals. The bill would make it a felony to threaten a health care worker in their official capacity, punishable by up to six years in prison and a $10,000 fine. We've seen health care professionals actually get letters sent to their homes uh, with threatening issues at home. But some, like health care leader Pat Reyes, are worried the bill is just a band-aid for the larger health care crisis. This mode where there's a shortage of workers and a lack of respect for health care workers. Wanting state leaders to help with a lot more. Staffing increase um, health care for when assaults happen. She also says the bill could help raise awareness about treatment, but doesn't think pursuing charges is always the right thing to do. There's a lot of times when the people doing the assaulting are not in their right mind, and we're not necessarily looking to create new criminals. Nondor for agrees and says they'll review every situation on a case-by-case -case basis. Obviously, if mental health is a component of it, we take that in consideration before we will um, work on connecting with law enforcement. In Madison, Tahil Mahaddeen, News 3 Now. The bill does still need to pass through the Senate before it can be signed into law by Governor Evers. Just last year, SSM officials documented more than 100 instances of assaults and threats to staff.